Hey guys, this is Jamrin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to create daytime picker app just like this. At first, we are going to let user to select the start date that is any start date within given year and then this our end year and then we are going to subtract end date with the given start date. Another part is like we are going to restrict the user to select the dates within the given month of that certain year only. This is my condition for date time picker. Our main objective of this app is to take this date and time and then upload it to the Azure database but in this tutorial we are not performing this. In another tutorial that is our next tutorial we will create an order app and then we are going to take that entry fields along with the given date and then store in the given Azure database. So the given condition is applied now the user is restricted within the given year as well as given month to select the dates within that given month. You can see over here we cannot select any month except the given month and then year for the given year and then we can only select the given dates within the given year as well as month. So we'll check the availability and then if seats are available and it's going to display it in form of labels. So in order to create such type of project this is our jamrinforms.net standard project where I'm setting main page as our starting page. So inside our main page.jml here I've set background image as something.jpg you can exclude this condition too. But in order to make that UI a little bit good, so I place that image inside the resources folder of iOS and drawal folder of Android. This is my second condition where we are going to use safe area as to because we don't want our views to interact with the given notes area. This is the new condition that is applied in Jamrin Forms 2.0 and this was the condition that we used to apply before Jamrin 2.0. You can use any condition for that. Just for now, we are going to create one stack layout. So inside our stack layout here I am creating a margin of 0, 40, 0 that is from left, top, right and bottom and then we are going to place that given stack layout within the given center. Here we have placed a simple label as name as event scheduling app. Here I have placed horizontal text alignment for the given text as center and then another label with start date and this is my date picker and this is my another label that is with end date and this is my another date picker and then a simple button that is placed at bottom and then a label that is going to represent the output. So this date picker will get the format as D that is our long date format as date picker we, as we are going to use Thursday December 25th 2018 that's why we are going to set that format as D and then we are going to place that date for picker for margin of 30 that is from left top and as well as bottom is like 0 and from right it is again 30. So we'll be using another condition for given date time picker as 30 and this our button condition which will have an click event and this is the level that is going to represent the given output for the given click events we are going to handle it inside our this code behind of mainpage.jml so at first we'll comment out all the codes inside our code behind of mainpage now inside our click handler event here we are going to create a time span as total time and then we are just going to reduce the end date time picker with the given start date time picker that's all and then the result will be displayed in the form of labels this is our result label dot text that will represent the given total time within the given time span so if we start our project then we will get output as like this this is our start date and this is our end date if we reduce it to one year back then it will give me as 365 days that's all now our next condition is like we are going to restrict the given user to select the given dates within the given month only so we'll use this condition and then exclude that previous condition from our given code at first we are going to set our current year variable as date time dot now dot year that means it will take the current year and that current variable current month will take the given month and first day in the current month we will be setting it as 1 and then we are going to pass that inside the given current month at first we are going to set last ED in the given current month as the given date time dot date in the month and current year and current month will be passed and then this is the minimum as well as maximum condition for the given start date time picker as well as end date time picker that we need to set and it depends upon the condition that you require I request you to use some breakpoints and then see what is the condition that is going on inside and then use your own logics inside it. So we are going to restrict the given user to select with dates within the given month only of the given year and then check the availability whether the given event is available within the given month or not. So this is my condition. In our next tutorial we will be contacting with the given server and then passing the given date 
that is our scheduled date to the given Azure database. So in this condition, here I am just restricting the given user to select the given minimum date as well as maximum date within the given month. So, so the given date and time will take the given date and time and then represent in the form of labels. If that condition is not satisfied, then it is going to exhibit output as like this. That's all. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Keep in touch for next tutorials.